Hey everyone, it's Molly. Thank you for joining for class three in our animal flow inspired yoga classes. Today's class is going to be big cat focus, so tiger, leopard, panther type stuff. Um, a little more intense, definitely. Actually, they're all really just full body experiences and exploration. So strength, mobility, get your heart rate up, coordination, balance, really fun. So don't ever feel like you have to stay on the mat. Don't ever feel like you have to keep up. If you want to pause the video, practice these moves a bunch more, please do. Um, and don't take it too seriously. Have some fun. So grab your mat and we'll get started. Today we're going to begin with a cat pose. So find your tabletop, hands stacked underneath shoulders, knees stacked underneath hips. And then press into the L shape created by your index and thumb finger. Straighten your elbows, roll your biceps forward and then separate your shoulder blades behind you, back door of the heart opens, tailbone tucks between your legs, good, inhale to cow pose, drop the belly, lift the tail, lift the gaze, and exhale, cat pose, round through the spine, curl navel in towards nose, inhale to cow, and exhale to cat. Good, a few more at your own pace, just opening up through the spine and hips, through the shoulder girdle. Good, inhale through your cow pose. And exhale, find cat. From here, inhale. Stay in your cat pose, press even more through your palms, and then exhale, sit your hips back towards your heels, keep the rounding of your spine. Inhale, hips stack over knees, shoulders over wrists, stay rounded through the spine. Exhale, keep this cat shape, sink the hips back towards the heels. Three more with your own breath. Inhale, shift you forwards. Exhale, rocks you back. Two more. One more. Good. Come back to tabletop. Flick your fingers to face the outer edges of the mat. And just rock side to side, doing a little wrist warm up today. These classes have a lot of heavy weight bearing on our wrists, so it's important to take care of them. Good, flick your fingers to face your knees, your wrist creases face forwards, and then lean your body back. The wrist can lift off the mat. You wanna feel a nice stretch through your forearms. Lean forward and lean back again. Good, find your normal hand position. And then I want you to attempt, so keep your elbows stacked over your wrists, your shoulders stacked over your elbows. Attempt to lift your fingers from the mat. They might not do anything, they probably won't, but we wanna really engage our wrist extensors here and strengthen them. So even if they're not going anywhere, try to lift for five more seconds. Three, two, one, release. Sit back, shake out your arms. Nice job. All right, find your tabletop. On an inhale, extend left heel back, right hand forward, balancing table. Exhale, curl right elbow into left knee, tiger curl. Inhale, extend long again. This time, exhale, bend your left knee, your heel curls towards your glute, reach back with your right hand for the inner seam of your left foot. Tiger pose, inhale, kick your hand in, your foot into your hand, and let that open your right shoulder. Really engage the glutes and hamstrings on the left side to lift that leg higher. Take one more breath in. Good, exhale, release. Inhale, extend right heel long, left hand long. Exhale, curl left elbow in to right knee, round through the spine. Inhale, extend long. Exhale, right heel to glute, reach back with the left hand. Inhale, kick right hand into left, right foot into left hand, tiger pose. Stay for a few. See if you can engage your back body even more. Inhale, good, exhale, release down, tabletop. 
All right, now tuck your toes under, walk your hands forward, and find downward facing dog, gliding your hips high. Good, take a few breaths to settle into your shape. Wrap your triceps back. Keep your spine long, so if that means you bend your knees a lot, that's totally fine. Spiral your inner thighs back. On an inhale, three-legged dog, reach your right heel high. Exhale, tiger curl. Bring your right knee in towards your nose and propel forward through that left leg. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. We're gonna do five of these. Exhale, tiger curl. Compressing as much as you can. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl. Hug your knee in towards your body. Last one. Extend and round. Good. Plant your right foot. We'll switch sides. Inhale, three-legged dog on the left. Left heel lifts. Slight bend in that right knee as you propel forward. Hug your left knee in towards your nose. Shift your weight forward over your hands. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl. Hug your back front body up into your back body. Inhale, three more. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, find downward facing dog. Release your knees and move to a child's pose. Moving your arms a little rest. If you want to shake them out, great option. We'll do these tougher drills and then we're going to let our breath kind of settle and slow. So if that means you need to sit upright and really open your chest, then please do that. Find your downward facing dog again. We'll do something similar, but we're going to add on a little bit. So inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee into chest. Inhale, lift it high again. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip, flip your dog. Right foot lands behind you. Hover the hips off the mat for a brief second. Inhale, press into your points of contact, find wild thing. Create a shelf with your shoulder blade, lifting your heart higher. And then exhale, right hand lands, tiger curl with the right foot. Inhale, three-legged dog, open. Exhale, land the right foot behind you, hover the hips off the mat. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, pivot on the left foot, right hand lands, tiger curl in your plank pose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, flip your dog, hover the hips. Inhale, wild thing. Press your hips to the sky. Exhale, right hand lands. Right knee to nose. Let's do one more. Inhale, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, hover the hips off the mat. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, right foot lands. Other side. Three-legged dog, left heel lifts. Exhale, tiger curl, left knee to chest. Inhale, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, left toes lay behind you, hips hover off the mat. Inhale, press into your points of contact, wild thing. Exhale, pivot on the right foot, the left hand lands, tiger curl, left knee to chest. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, flip it over. Land those left toes, inhale, wild thing. Extend through your hips. Exhale, left knee to chest. We'll do one more. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, flip it. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, land. Lower your knees, shake out your arms, and catch your breath. Nice job. Close your eyes down, find some calmness.
We'll do another variation on that tiger curl to wild thing situation. Whenever you're ready, meet me in downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, reach the right heel high. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee to chest. Inhale, lift it high, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, right toes land behind you. Hips hover off the mat. This time, we are going to, on an inhale, engage through our left hip flexors and our left quad to lift the left heel off the mat and then reach forward with your right hand to touch those toes. So your whole front body, your core, your hip flexors should be super fired right now. So that's our inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, three-legged, or wild thing. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll skip the second tiger curl, and then we'll switch sides. Inhale, three-legged dog, left heel high. Exhale, tiger curl, left knee to chest. Inhale, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hip, flip it over. Exhale, left toes land, hips hover. Inhale, engage through the right leg, touch the toes with your left hand. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, right heel lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, tiger curl. Inhale, extend long again, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the left heel. Touch the toes with the right hand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, wild thing. <laughs> Exhale, downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, left heel lifts. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Inhale, touch your right toes with your left hand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press your hips to the sky. Exhale, pivot on the right foot. Land, left side, downward facing dog. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, tiger curl. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, flip it over. Inhale, left toes. Touch them with your right hand. Exhale, lower. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel lifts. Breathe out, tiger curl. Inhale, flip your dog. Exhale, land the left toes behind you. Inhale, touch your right toes. Exhale, release down. Breathe in, open up into your wild thing. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Good, lower your knees. Shake out your arms. Got a few more drills. Good job, close your eyes down. Take about three breaths. Just for fun, we're going to try the crouching tiger walk. So come to the very back of your space. This is tough if you just have the yoga mat. It's better if you have a large room. But So what I want you to keep in mind, as opposed to our bear walk, where we kept our pelvis really stable and our shoulder girdle stable, for this, I want you to bring in some sway through your hips and let your shoulder blades protract and retract. So if you think about it, you think of those big cats and their shoulder blades are just like incredible behind them. So don't be afraid to let that happen. What we'll do, place your left hand and your right knee close to each other. Extend your right arm and right leg longer. So here we're letting our hips kind of open to the right and our left shoulder is drooping down a little bit while our right shoulder is strong. Then we'll step left hand forward, right foot comes closer to right elbow and then you'll sink into that right elbow, letting your hips drop over to the left. And again, pressing more through the left shoulder this time as opposed to the right. And then stay really close to the ground, try to create some fluidity. Step the right hand and left foot forward. Step the left hand and the right foot forward. We'll turn around, we'll do that another time. Great one to pause the video. Kind of watch videos of cats moving, they're really Really amazing and graceful. So let's bring our right limbs close in towards each other. And then we're gonna step 
Right hand and left foot forward, stay low to the ground. Step left hand and right foot forward, bend into that left elbow. Knee can open out to the side, one more. Right hand, left foot. Nice job. Again, a lot easier if you have more space, but you can hopefully get two to three steps there. Now another transition that I think we'll be using in our flow is just called a leaping leopard, borrowed from Budokan Yoga. So basically it's a 180 degree squat jump. So if you're at the top of the mat, you're in this low, really loaded position, and then you're gonna spring up and then switch sides, okay? So you're really in this low position, gearing up those quads, and then you're gonna spring up, kind of open your body as you turn 180 degrees. So let's do 10 of those whenever you're ready. One, and then turn to the right. Two, spring up, open to the left. Three, four, really extend to your arms and legs. Five, six, seven, eight, Two more, nine, last one, make it really explosive, 10. Good, sit down, massage your quads if you need. I need to. Good, take a breather. We're gonna make our way to the back of our mat again. Just like two more drills and then we'll move through a flow. Okay, so whenever you're ready, whenever you caught your breath, we're gonna move into a downward facing dog shape. We have two more drills. So from your downward dog, I want you to bend your knees and really sit your hips back towards your heels all the while gazing forward. This is our loaded beast position. So our shins are parallel to the mat and knees are just hovering. Loaded beast to a front step. So from here, you're going to spring off of the right leg. Your left foot will replace your left hand and your left hand will kind of cactus and pull in towards your body. You're sinking your right hip down to the mat. You can create a little fierceness if you want. This is kind of like an intense posture, okay? And then left hand replaces left foot. Move back to your loaded beast, shins are parallel. And then spring off the left leg, right foot replaces right hand, right hand cactus. You're twisting your body open to the right. Left hip is sinking to the mat. And then exhale, loaded beast. Inhale, left foot steps forward, cactus the left arm. Exhale, loaded beast. Inhale, right front step. Exhale, loaded beast. Inhale, left front step. Exhale, loaded beast. Inhale, right. Exhale, two more on each side. Inhale, sink that other hip. Low to the mat, inhale, exhale, loaded beast. One more on each side. Last one, good. Drop your knees, give your legs a little break. Because next, you can stay with that option if that is plenty for you. Otherwise, we're gonna do a front kick through. A little more jumping, plyometrics involved. I'm gonna catch my breath another moment. It's definitely a quad burner for sure. So, looks kind of similar. I'll walk you through one slowly and then we'll do several as a drill. From your loaded beast, instead of stepping and having the right foot staying planted back here, you're gonna jump that right foot forward between your left leg and your right arm to the front, kind of diagonal part of the mat, okay? And your butt will be hovering off the mat. And then you're gonna really hop back into your loaded beast. So it looks like this. So only thing that's touching is my left foot and my right hand. We practiced that really good quad and hip flexor and core engagement earlier, so use that here. And then you really have to stabilize through your right arm to hop back. So there's a time where you're only balancing on one hand as your hips are making their, your legs are making their way back to your loaded beast. So on the other side, your right foot will still replace your right hand, but you're gonna kick that left foot through, hover off the mat, 
and then you're going to swing it back behind you and land in your loaded V. So on that side, at pace, looks like this. Okay, let's do 10 on each side, or 10 alternating, so 10 total. Again, just take the step option, or if you want, you can lower your hips, take it a little slower, take out the jump like this. 10, so five on each side, alternating. Whenever you're ready, loaded beast, right foot swings through. Loaded beast, left foot straight. Good, keep going. Get that heart rate up. Three on each side. Good. We have four more in total. Right foot swings through. Loaded beast. Left foot swings through. Loaded beast. One more on each side. Woo! Okay. Shake it out and breathe. I'm there with you. My heart is pumping. That's the last of our drills. Take the next minute or so to calm your breath, to massage your legs, whatever you need to do, and then we'll move on to our flow. Open up your chest, lean back. similar with our other classes. We're going to do two, so one on each side, one round on each side slow, and then one round on each side more at pace. So you get a lot of explanation the first round, second round kind of move a little faster, and then if you want, you can pause the video, do it as many times as you want. So we are going to start in a tabletop pose. Hopefully your breath was calmed a little bit. I definitely need to catch mine after that. So we're going to come into a cat cow to begin. Actually, let's start in an um, active child's pose. So toes are still tucked underneath you. You're going to round forward through your cat spine, stack your shoulders over your wrists. Exhale, untuck your tailbone, sit your hips back towards your heels, then cow. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Inhale, balancing table, lift left leg, right arm, nice stable body. Exhale, bend left leg behind you. Inhale, tiger pose, kicking your left foot into your right hand. Exhale, release without slingshotting, plant the right hand. Inhale, we're going to do that front step, but our right knee will be landed. So just left foot replaces left hand. Create that fierce pose if you want. Just your left arm back. Good. Plant your left hand. Exhale, tiger curl. So lift the back right knee. Curl left knee in towards body. Inhale, three like a dog. Bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, left toes land, hips hover. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, left knee to the top of your space. Inhale, malasana, in the right foot replaces right hand. And then exhale, we're going to do our leaping wizard. Jump and face the opposite way at the front of your mat. Now take about two to three of your crouching tiger steps. Really mobilizing through your shoulder girdle and your pelvis. Good. Once you get to the top of your mat, you're going to hop back to a downward facing dog. And then from there, loaded beast to your front kick through. Loaded beast to your other front kick through. Good. Loaded beast, spine away forward to plank. And then lower your knees down. Inhale, cat pose round forward from child's to your tabletop. Exhale, think cow as you untuck your hips and then back to your heels. 
Inhale, roll forward to cat. Exhale, think cow. Sit your hips to your heels, other side. Balancing table, inhale, left hand, right foot long. Exhale, bend, right knee behind you. Inhale, open up to your tiger pose. Exhale, release, left hand. Front step, so right foot replaces right hand. Twist your body open to the right, left hip sinks to the mat. Plant your right hand down. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee to chest. Inhale, three-legged dog, bend the knee, open the hip. Exhale, hover. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, malasana. Exhale, leaping lizard jump. Switch directions. Find your crouching tiger for a few steps. Whatever you can manage. Good. From here, find downward facing dog. Exhale, loaded beast. And then front kick through, left leg comes through. Exhale, loaded beast. Right leg comes through. Loaded beast. Downward facing dog. Spine all the way forward to plank. Lower your knees down, child's pose. Okay, that's our flow. We're gonna do it one more time on each side. From your child's pose, inhale, ripple up to tabletop. Exhale, untuck your tail, sit your hips back towards your heels. Inhale, cat pose. Exhale, cow, sink your hips back. Inhale, rise up, balancing table, right hand, left leg. Exhale, bend the left knee behind you, cap just your right arm. Inhale, tiger pose just for breath. Exhale, front step, right hand lands, left foot replaces left hand. Inhale, plant your left hand as well, tuck your back toes. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee into your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog bend, the knee open the hip. Exhale, flip it over, hips hover. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, left foot slowly travels to the top of the mat. Inhale, loss in the right foot replaces right hand. Exhale, leaping lizard to your left. Crouching tiger, take a few steps. Once you get to the end of your space, take a step back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, loaded beast. Front kick through right leg, loaded beast. Front kick through left leg, loaded beast. Spine way forward to plank. Lower your knees, child's pose. Other side, inhale, out through your cat to tabletop. Exhale, cow to child's. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cow. Balancing table, other side. Inhale, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale, cactus, left elbow, bend, right knee. Inhale, tiger pose, engage the back body. Exhale, left hand lands, right foot replaces right hand, front step. Good, inhale, right hand lands on the inside of the right foot, tuck your left toes. Exhale, tiger curl, right knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, bend your knee, open your hip. Exhale, flip your dog. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, right foot travels towards the right corner of your mat. Inhale, malasana, left foot replaces left hand. Exhale, leaping lizard to the right, or leaping leopard. Good, take a few of your crouching tiger steps. Good. Once you get to the end of your space, take one step back, downward facing dog. Exhale, loaded beast. And then spring forward, front kick through left. Back to loaded beast, front kick through right. Back to loaded beast. Spinal way forward to plank. Lower your knees, find child's pose. Nice work. We're gonna rest here for a few breaths. 
So child's pose will actually be our final stretch. If you want, you can really open up through your shoulders, keeping it a little active, wrapping the outer armpits down. If you want, you can rest your forehead and bring your hands down alongside your body. Whatever feels good for you will be here for about 10 breaths. Letting the pace of your heart slow down. Finding some ease throughout your leg muscles and your low back space. breaths, find even more softness. Last inhale together. Final exhale. Let it all out. Moved a lot of energy today. So feel free to release into more stretches or shavasana. Otherwise, that's the end of our practice together. If you liked it, please like it and share it with others and subscribe so you see the final class in this series based on creepy crawlies. So some cobra, snake, locust, scorpion type lizard, a little bit of that amphibian, reptile, insect realm. But it'll still be fun. We'll st still do the same type of layout with some drills and warm up and then a couple rounds of a flow. So I hope you liked it. If you did, do all those things and I'll see you next time. Thank you.